In this video, I'm gonna give you seven different ways that you can make money online as a writer. Many of you like to write, and a lot of times we think we have to write blog posts or maybe a book or a novel if you love to write, but there's so many different ways that you can use your talent and make money online. You can find more than one stream of income, but I'm gonna share seven different ways you can make money online as a writer. Stick around. <music> If you love to write, but just don't know where to get started and you wanna make some money, this this is really for you. I, I can't emphasize this enough. The first way that I'm gonna show you how to write um, and make some money is by starting a blog. If you really, really, really love to write, a blog is such a wonderful way to express yourself. Now, you may be saying, but I need money now, and that's not going to work. I have an idea for you, right on number two. So bear with me here for those of you that love to, right and you want to start a blog i want to give you a couple of ideas this one is called bella bloom and this person has taken um, their blog is about how to dive in and be motivated inspired creative and smart so basically her business is helping other people create and express themselves on a website so you see up here where she does web design web maintenance and portfolios and you can contact her so her blogs will talk about web design and web maintenance and things like that and in her blog she's trying to get people to sign up for her business which is web design so she has a web design business so her blog that's what she does so if you have a specific service that you want to promote you can promote it by writing blogs you might be an influencer so your blog would be all about what it takes to be an influencer uh, things like that so your auto mechanic then all your blog writing you might talk about auto mechanics so you can take something you're interested in and share it on the blog but you have to love to write honestly now here's another one maybe you just want to share your life this is called simply tabitha and if you look at her headings it's all about style beauty recipes baby and a motherhood so she basically talks about things that she loves and i think her post her website here is put together very well it's very clean very easy to look at um and she you know she talked about her her baby before while she was pregnant now the baby's here there's her first birthday but she's just sharing her life experiences now you're saying well how is that going to make money that's a lot of work well if you come down here a little bit and i saw her, here it is um she has a little box here my go-to pregnancy products so when you open this and you see the different products that she has she actually has different products that are affiliate products so she'll make money off of those when you click those links so with any blog when you're sharing your passion and you're and you put it into writing you want to talk about things that you could grab off of amazon and start like a little affiliate business i have a video i'll show you right up top but go ahead and hit that but it's i talk about affiliate marketing with youtube videos but it also works with blogs it, it works the same way but that's a way that you can make money and if you see down here she's got some ads um, um, different things that you can post and when you hit her links you're going to go to different products see all the links that she has in there this here is the new chapter perfect postnatal multivitamins and when you click that it's going to take you to the multivitamins if i buy those vitamins she gets a, a percentage of that and that's how you make money writing a blog now she brought you to amazon it's very easy to sign up with amazon like i said watch the video that i just showed you it kind of goes through the same thing except i show you how to promote it on youtube if you're a writer you're promoted on your blog so i won't go into detail on that now number two would you like to become a writer for somebody else on their blog maybe you don't want to write a blog for yourself maybe you don't want to go through all that trouble i would advise you to to write up a resume and all of your qualifications and maybe reach out to some different youtubers out there that have bigger channels and say hey I would like to start writing blogs for other people because one of the things you can do is take a YouTube video, transcribe it using a company like temi.com, and then you as the blogger would go in and write the blogs for the other person. So you're kind of 
taking your skill and doing it for somebody else and um, charge by the hour. Now, I'm going to give you two places you can go at the end of this session down in the description is called fiverr.com and Upwork. And those are other places that you can promote yourself. But I would hustle, I would go out there and have a, a, some kind of a resume and a cover letter and let other YouTubers know that I am offering these services. So what do you think? Are you liking this so far? Are you thinking I'm crazy? Give me a comment below and tell me what you think. Is this something that you feel like you can do? If not, let me know. I will find other ways for you to make some money because I guarantee, I believe there's a way for everybody to make money online, but you have to find the right fit. Um, if you're liking this, let me know, hit the like button and, and give me a, a co comment, let me know, and let's keep going. A third thing that you can do is become a ghostwriter for ebooks. A lot of people want, here's a, a service right here, custom ebook writing services, hire an expert. A lot of people want to write a book and have their name on it because it gives them credibility, but they don't really want to write the book. They're establishing their authority. So you could become the person to write the ebook for them. Again, you could promote your services through Fiverr or Upwork or any other platform like that. You can go through here, it's called Content Development Pros, or you can write again, go to the YouTube people, um, out there and say, hey, is this something you'd be interested in? I see that you're talking a lot about keto recipes. Have you ever thought about putting a recipe book together? I would love to do that for you. And you would do it as a ghostwriter and they would get credit for it. Now, what I've shared with you so far are for people that probably love to write, like ghostwriting and the blogs and doing the eBooks. And that's a little bit more involved and maybe the money won't come in so fast. What I'm getting ready to show you now on number four is actually a slew of things and I call this is come up with a job that you can do and I'm gonna list them for you but for instance you could start pinning on Pinterest for somebody you could start writing um, articles for somebody on their website um, I have somebody that does it for me where they take my video and we get a transcript and they edit it and place it and post it for me so they don't really have to come up with a topic but they have to be good enough with editing and writing to be able to make it flow really well and to make it look nice on the blog but if you don't want to have to think of things and you want to be of a service to other people then really pay attention on this one because I think this one is the golden ticket especially if you're not sure which niche you want to go into in the writing area and this is a really this is an area where there's a high demand but you have to be able to sell yourself just like with anything you have to prove that you can do it and be able to sell yourself to other people so go ahead and really look at the list that i have here where you can start a little mini business doing one of these or several of these different things that i'm getting ready to list now, sometimes when you're making money, you have to offer more than one service. A lot of people that you see making money online, they're not just doing one thing. And there's more than one reason for that. One, because let's say you did promote an ebook. Let's say that you wrote an ebook for an, an influencer and they promoted it to sell it in a campaign. Well, that book's not going to keep selling hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of copies as long as that person's not pushing it and campaigning and marketing it. So they kind of go through stages where they'll market a product and then back off. So even you as a writer, you might have different avenues of income. You might start writing a ghost book for somebody, but that's not gonna last six months, most likely. If you're writing up a recipe book, you may work on that a little bit here and then do something else. And here are some ideas. This is number one, become a freelance writer. And a lot of them are called virtual assistants, but you could also become a Pinterest manager for someone. If you love social media and you love to post on Instagram or Pinterest, you could actually get hired to do that for somebody. You could become a graphic designer. So many people creating businesses online, especially if they're on Facebook, Facebook or YouTube they're looking for graphic designers especially when they want to design their brand they want everything to match and, and and really to look good and if you've got an eye for that that's something that you could do making those YouTube channel channel um, banners and the art page there for the YouTube um, 
you could become a website developer, just like that one woman who had a blog. Actually, she's a website designer. You become an email marketer. If you're really good at, good at writing copy and getting people to buy things and warming up to them, you could do the email marketing for somebody, uh, social media marketing, Pinterest graphic creator and editor, and you, you name it. These are just a few things, but think about becoming a freelancer and doing something you'd love to do. See, if you're on Instagram all the time, you're probably thinking, that is really no big deal, that's easy. Well, those of us who don't like to be on Instagram would rather hire someone like you to do it for us because it's not my favorite thing. I think, um, I feel like Instagram is so fast paced and people are right there on their phone and I don't live on my phone like that. I'm more of a desktop person. So I would hire somebody in a heartbeat to do Instagram um, if that was something that I wanted to hire them for. All right, so that's four. Let's go to number five. What if you were to help other people just spruce up a website that they already have? Now remember, you're looking for a writing job, but go locally to some of your businesses. You can go to the dentist or to the local auto shop or anybody out there that's a chiropractors, anybody out there that has a brick and mortar business that has a website, most likely are not spending a lot of time online keeping it spruced up and keeping it active. So you could start a job or even in a, an agency where you can help these people keep their websites up to date or just go in and spruce them up for them, depending on how much you want to put into it. But they may be looking for somebody to keep their website active so maybe you just have to add a little article here and there and put that on there to keep it active but you could have five or six clients doing that and maybe set a charge each of them a monthly maintenance fee for you to guarantee that you're going to put so many articles in there and makes you know keep it alive and spend so many hours a month so you have to let them know what they're getting for their money but a lot of people would be happy to not have to worry about that and give it to somebody who's qualified to keep it spruced up and active. Now the next two ways you might not have thought you could do online, but you can, especially with what is going on in our world right now. But what about being a tutor to some students? Students are home right now and parents are having to teach them and a lot of parents don't feel qualified to do it. Even if they don't feel qualified, maybe they don't feel like that have, they have the time. I know myself, I homeschooled my two youngest children and I was very much involved in the homeschool community. And the number one thing that most parents neglected was writing. They did not want to spend the time or they just ran out of time. And that was the easiest thing to say, oh, we'll get to it later. And unfortunately, a lot of kids did not get the writing instruction that they needed. So as a writer, you could offer tutoring classes. Now you could offer them online, but you're going to have to market yourself and get out there and maybe go to some local school districts and ask the school districts if they could get your little spiel out to the students and to the parents and see if you could have you could offer classes where it's just the writing maybe five kids at a time and it make the price a little lower for the parents or you could do offer one-on-one -on -one. but writing is huge it has been huge in the homeschool community and i can't imagine how huge it is right now with parents having to teach their kids at home it's it is a hard it's a hard thing to have to teach to a child who doesn't want to write. You know that yourself. You love to write. You might not have been resistant, but imagine that kid that doesn't want to write. And as a parent, sometimes it's not worth the fight. So maybe you can encourage that kid and get them to love writing as much as you do. And here I am to the seventh one. What about adults? Maybe you could offer an online coaching class to adults and help them with their businesses and give them some tips and how they can become better writers. So they might be willing to pay you as opposed um, to help teach them as opposed to teaching having you do the whole thing. Another thing along with the coaching that you could offer, you could even start a Facebook group where people have to pay to come into it for a membership and you can give them tips and things on their businesses and how to help them with their marketing and the writing aspect of the marketing. Now you may say, I'm not a marketer. I don't really want to do that. That's fine. Then the tutoring might be better for you, but there's a lots of really good ideas as a writer. You really have tons of opportunities open to you. And again, you might be thinking, this is something I love to do. I can't imagine making money off of it, but you can, and you can always make a YouTube channel with your writing gift. And I have a, a, a little mini course below for you to look at. If you think that's something that you've been thinking about is offering your services and starting a YouTube channel, then you want to check that out as well. Um, because this is all about making money and helping get your passion and love of something out to other people. You're either going to serve them or you're going to teach them one way or the other. So 
All right, that's it. You have seven different ways that you can really start making money in 2021 by writing.